This is MIT Technology Review. Hmm. Let's go. In Machines We Trust. I'm listening. A podcast about the automation of everything. You have reached your destination. Hi there, I'm Jennifer Strong, dropping by to say we're back with a whole new season of In Machines We Trust. How does this sound? And more of the human voices behind machines we use every day, including the original Siri. We couldn't have imagined something like Siri or Alexa. You know, we just thought we were doing just generic phone voice messaging. And so when suddenly Siri appeared in 2011, it's like, I'm who? <laughs> what? What is this? Not long ago, the idea of putting a talking speaker with a microphone and maybe a camera in our private spaces would have been pretty far-fetched. It was a little creepy at first, I'll have to say. I never really did a lot of talking to myself as Siri. But gradually, I got accepting of it. Now that we're used to it, we're starting to do much more than just set timers and search the web. Researchers are finding ways to detect diseases, burglaries, even turn the voices of our loved ones into conversational avatars. Hello. <laughs> oh my How are you today? Uh, I'm well, thanks, Mum. How are you? Good. Oh my God. <laughs> That's so weird. Join us as we seek out what's coming next. That was really freaky. My mum as a, a machine. I felt more emotional listening to it than I, than I kind of expected to. This season, we'll also look at the impact of automation on our wallets and how the shifting role of algorithms changes the prices we see. Plus, who gets a loan, how we invest, and pay our bills. We believe that there's a path forward where money can be smart itself, so you can actually program the coin and it can control who it goes to. So that is not really possible in today's centralized systems. That can only be done in a decentralized, smart money-enabled system. And we'll dive deep on AI and hiring which goes beyond just picking through resumes. One customer that's interviewing 50,000 people over a weekend for jobs in 1,500 different locations around the U.S. Employing AI to give and grade job interviews. The candidates can interview for jobs any hour of the day, any day of the week. We interviewed nearly 6 million people for jobs last year for our customers. About half of those were for hourly workers and about half of those were professional. We'll also examine the world of beauty where algorithms are ranking the way people look and computer vision is making it very easy to filter and change people's faces online. Such as how long your eyelashes are, how somewhat toned your face is, or how clear your skin looks. It's influencing the things we do, the social posts we see, even the way we think. Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok especially, have very rigorous beauty algorithms that use the attractiveness of a face to determine if a piece of content is going to be successful or not. Now, what we're doing is a similar thing, but we're trying to make the process more transparent. So we're showing you this is what the algorithm is looking for. In Machines We Trust, a podcast about the automation of everything. Listen to us wherever you get your podcasts.